Hello everyone, welcome. This is City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pearl Akanyo-Fori. Coming up, Supreme Court gives government three weeks to put before Parliament a document that will legalize the hosting of the two Guantanamo Bay detainees. Else, they'll be sent back to the U.S. Stay with us for the details. Ghana's police chief, David Asante, appeared to have sent a strong warning to political parties and lawbreakers, saying the actions will no longer be tolerated. Some civil society organizations uh, and the main opposition party, that's the National Democratic Congress, have complained about what they say as the seeming state of lawlessness in Ghana. Addressing the National Police Command Conference in the Ashanti region, the IGP charged his officers to deal decisively with such miscreants. He stated that such impunity and lawlessness would no longer be condoned. And let's stay with uh, police matters because this morning police fired tear gas and rubber bullets to the spares angry workers of a Chinese firm in Tema. The Ghanaian workers of the China Harbour Engineering Company were protesting against management and demanding better conditions of service. Now, the police were called in to use force to move them from the premises. One person is believed to have been shot in the eye and was rushed to the hospital uh, for medical attention. For well, last month, about 500 workers of the China Harbour Engineering Company demonstrated against the firm, also demanding better conditions of service. Ghana's apex court has declared as unconstitutional government's decision to host the two Guantanamo Bay detainees in the country. Out of the six justices uh, who sat on the case, five ruled in favor of the detainees. The Chief Justice Sufar Ekufu, who read out the judgment, said the then President John Dramani Mahama needed the approval of Parliament before entering into such an agreement with the United States of America. The court also ordered government to within the next three months send the agreement to parliament for ratification or return the ex-detainees. My colleague Sistus Don Ulu has more. The two detainees, Mahmoud Omar Mohamed Benateb and Khaled Mohamed Saleh Aldabi, who were in detention for 14 years after being linked with terrorist group Al-Qaeda, were brought to Ghana in 2016 for a period after which they were expected to be reintegrated into their home countries. Two Ghanaian citizens, Margaret Banfo and Henry Nanabwache, sued the Attorney General and Minister of Justice together with the Minister of Interior, accusing then-President John Mahama of illegal bringing in the two former Gidmo detainees. The plaintiffs were seeking, among other reliefs, a declaration that on a true and proper interpretation of Article 75 of the 1992 Constitution of Ghana, the President of the Republic acted unconstitutionally by agreeing to the transfer of Mahmoud Umar Mohamed Benatev and Khalid Mohamed Saleh al -Dabi. Many Ghanaians openly opposed the decision, describing it as a threat to national security. But in January 2016, the United States Embassy in Ghana assured Ghanaians that the presence of the two former Gidmo detainees posed no threat to the security of the country. For City News Daily, I am Sextus Dong Ulu. Ghana's parliament is expected to drag the health minister, Kweku Ajiman Menu, before the house in the coming days. Why? For failing to make any serious progress in its investigations into the Central Medical Stores uh, fire incident. Over 100 million Ghana CD worth of drugs uh, were destroyed in the disaster. The chairman of the Health Committee in Parliament, Collins Augustine in team, says the minister will be summoned to answer some critical questions. That'll be it for today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pierre Akanyo Fori. Thanks so much for watching. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us 1-0243-331-999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.